I'm in the Convey More kitchen, and we just got our new uh, K cup coffee maker. Uh, we're probably five years late on that, but this is the old school one we got now. But uh, I'm making this so that our employees know how to use it. Uh, our employees need a lot of help. So basically, the comp the thing's called S B O L Y. I'm missing some vowels here, but that's gonna call it Spalali. That sounds good. Uh, and anyway, it was $89 on Amazon. This could be a review for it as well. So what we need to do is, first of all, you need to go up there and get you a K-cup. Uh, this one's called French Roast. Comes at Walmart. I'll be supplying those free. All right. And so what you do is you open the top of this thing. And uh, and I'm doing it as we speak. This I'm learning as well. And that's where the water goes. So then you get your cup. And you take the cup over here and you put some water in it at the sink. All right, so turn the sink off. All right, then you come back over here and you pour the, the water into this little K cup plastic doodad. Ooh. Don't worry about spilling, it's got a Corrosive proof cover and nifty plastic. I wouldn't call it not let's call it non-metallic. Just wipe it off. It's really clean. And close the lid. Then you open this lid right here where it says press. That's what I'm assuming. Take the old one out. It's got a little cup that comes with it. It says be careful. It's sharp. It has a little sticker on it. Take the K-cup, put it in this thing. Alright, then you put it in the, the machine. Close the door, press this button here that says, what's that say? Carboula. Maybe that's French for K cup. Press the button and you put your cup back under. That's an important part. You put your cup back under there and wait. So I'm going to turn. Oop, it's already making noise. That's really cool. In the meantime, you're going to have your hands get water all over it. So then that's what this manual is for. You can wipe your hands on the instruction manual. Eventually, it's probably going to have to be thrown away. But for right now, that's I guess that's the need for it. Because the first thing in the instruction manual says, number one, read all instructions before using. Now, you know, so all of a sudden, this is a wipe, wipe your damn hands with, and it's not good for nothing else. All right, so now back to the K-cup. We're already 20 seconds into the into the brew cycle. Uh, and this is, I, so I didn't, I, I'm Matt, your, your uh, brewmaster, or what do they call those things, Kane? I'm your barista. And so we'll be, uh, we'll be waiting on this. I'm going to turn this off just for a second and turn it back on. So it's still brewing. We're about 20 seconds later, and we're still making noise, and we still got the cup there, and we're waiting for the brew to come out. Smoking, probably hot. We're looking down at the bottom of the coffee as it goes into the pot. These are things that you don't get at Starbucks. This is a hands on barista performance. You can see it bubbling and you see smoke coming out of it. It's going to fill up this cup, I'm guessing, with the amount of water that I put in it in the first place. But we'll just have to see. I can't stand anticipation. Let's see. So we go further, further, further. And making a final noise. There you go. The perfect cup of coffee. Now, everybody needs to follow these directions. And I don't want anybody asking me any questions. 